Hey, hey, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very well. I'm, I'm fine, good. teacher. Great. Did, did everybody have a good day today? Yes, I have, teacher. Okay. So we're going to begin just by having a few moments. And what we want to do is practice WH questions. WH questions are those questions that begin with or have WH, like what, where, when, do you know any others? Which. Which, exactly. Mm. Who, exactly. Who's? Who's? Okay. 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 So we have what, where, who, when, which, how, the different things. So we're going to just have a quick group and with our groups or with our partners, we're just going to ask them, how was your day? What did you do? Where did you go? What happened? The important is to practice making questions. Remember, when we make questions in the past, we use the auxiliary did. What did you do? Where did you go? Who did you see? Whatever you want to ask, okay? But in the past, we use the auxiliary did. We just take a few moments and what we want to work on is fluency. We want to work on making the questions quickly and making our answers quickly. Okay, any, any questions? Are we ready? I'm ready. Yes, ready. yes right. teacher. Let's do it. Omi, everything okay? Omi, if you have any questions, just ask me. I'm going to go check on the other groups. Okay. I had to work all day, but uh, it was a great day, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about you, David? As man, as man says, I was working, so basically the whole day, and it was a little difficult because I had to do some a lot of things, but at the end I could do it. Um, cheese and tortilla chips. Okay, tortilla chips are delicious. <laughs> Mouse, yeah. uh, <laughs> flows, uh, avocado. <laughs> <laughs> okay, teacher, I have a question. When uh, when I make a, a sentence in the past, when you did, for example, what did you eat for lunch? The answer is only the verb on the past. That is correct. Only the verb in the past. Uh -huh. Okay, the answer is uh, the I ate or whatever. Correct. I ate pupusas, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, okay. 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 Okay, Olga. Um, where do you where where did you study in high school? I per perdón. Sorry. <laughs> But uh, the question, the response, yes, the response is, today I have been at San Diego today because I have, I had to go to the work. So I, I went to San Diego to, 
um, a meeting. Yeah, a, a meeting. Um, yes, because I had a meeting. Um, you, you. I have like, I had like since July, I think, that I didn't go. So finally, me too, me I. Too. You too? To me too. Come. Uh, yesterday, no, no, in my house always. Um, okay. I have been uh, listening the mission the Edgar Edgar Grande. The town hall from yesterday. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Hi. Any questions? Sorry, but I I didn't hear what your instructions for the exercise. No problem. The instructions were to make questions with WH, uh, asking your partners about what we did for today. Uh, just like but, yesterday? No, no, no. Yesterday we didn't practice. Yesterday was a present perfect uh, with have or has. Right? Like right. we were using with ING. Have you gone uh, or have you seen or... I have been studying, for example, but today is, uh, we were just starting off with making just simple questions with WH, like a conversation. Okay. But we are finished, so don't worry. But we're going to review to make sure everybody understands. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Does anybody have any questions? No, teacher. For me. No. No. Okay. No, teacher. Okay. Perfect. So, what we're doing that is when we ask WH questions, we can use those WH to ask anything, really. We can ask in present, in past, in future. The only thing that changes is just the idea that we want to ask. We say, uh, you know, in the future, going to, in the past, did, uh, in the present, do. So whatever you want to ask, it's possible. Only the important is that you always remember the auxiliaries that help you for each time. So if you want to make a past question, we use did. Want to make a future question, we use going to. Um, the normal is, for example, do or does, or am, is, or are. Now, yesterday, we saw a little bit about the present perfect continuous. And this is a new one for us, right? It's the one where we're talking about have been. I have been studying English. I have been working all day. I have been reading a book. I have been watching Netflix, okay? This is the idea for the continuous tense. For this one, we're taking a look at uh, the same thing from yesterday, Hang on. which is 2.8 in our platform, okay? We're looking at 2.8, and we can see there the structure of the present perfect continuous. I'll put it here so we can all take a look. Why are you... Okay. This is the questions that we asked. It's just to help us review a little bit. Okay. So we always have the person and then we have have been and then a verb with the ing. Remember, specifically he, she, it has been and the verb in ing. Okay. So we, why do we use this structure different than the other structures? This structure is because this is in the past, started. This is started in the past and continues to today. So, for example, um, maybe you are from San Miguel and you live in San Vicente. Okay, I have been living in San Vicente for two years. You start two years in the past and you continue to today. This is the idea for the present perfect continuous. Mm, it was, this is the one from yesterday. Is okay for everybody or do you have any questions? It's okay, for it's okay teacher. 
Okay, great. Okay, now we're finishing up. We have a little bit of a knowledge check here. Okay, and we also have here child prodigies. It's a it's a reading. So we're going to do these two right now with our partners. Okay, we want to make sure that it's clear. Okay, this one should be clear for everybody. Okay, because this is the knowledge check where we're reviewing. What's the difference? Well, when you use have or has, okay, have, when do we use have or when do we use has? How do you know the difference? Has for the third person. Excellent, has for the third person. So that means have is for the first person. So one more time, what are we going to do with our partners? We are going to check 2.9 and then we are going to read and answer the questions for 2.10, okay? So in 2.10, what do we find in 2.10? Ah, in 2.10, we're going to find WH questions. Questions like how, who, where, what, okay? And we're going to answer them according to the information in the reading. Now, let's review the WH questions to make sure it's clear. When do we use what? Do you, uh, is, a, is a necessary, no uh, specific time? Mm, not time, but yes, almost, Romulo. But wow. not, but what not is for time. Anybody else? Can we? When do we use what? For describe something. Okay, that's right. For descriptions or for general information, that's what. Now, Romulo mentioned time. Which wh do we use for time? When. When. When, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. good. Now, which one do we use for options, for choices? Which. Which. Excellent, which. which. What? Correct, which. Mm -hmm. which, uh, which one do we use when we want to talk about people? Who? Who, good, excellent. Mm -hmm. And which one do we use when we want an explanation? Why? 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 Excellent. Okay. So, what are we going to do? One more time. We are going to go with our partners. We are going to complete exercise 2.9, which is the present perfect continuous review. And we are going to do the reading and answer those WH questions for 2.10. 2.10. Uh -huh. So, we have two exercises 2.9 is the present perfect continuous when we practice have been ing has been ing and then 2.10 is the one where we read and we check the questions to and according to the information in the reading we can answer the questions okay okay let's make our partners Yeah. Okay, the second one. Well, I. Spent? For me, it's a spent, yeah. Spent. So. Um, David, do you uh, have so to No. Just let me see, because supposedly I think he's being spending. And the second one? Yeah. Is being doing. Okay, it's the number. The number four. The, okay. Uh, the sentence is, is uh, what? What be you doing lately? But is, okay. Uh, 
okay yes i think it's correct what have you to have what have you been okay I mean, yeah i think it's only one option it's only one uh -huh, but i i try to coffee time for the past few months mm, I, I think no but uh, the synthesis is not present continuous um where uh, yes is i um, uh, i yes i have i been make um, make big it not it's not been making with the present no for um the end synthesis it yes, it, it was have, at the in the past I been made uh, drinks at coffee time for the past few months. Okay. It I been make drink coffee drinks at coffee time for the past few months. Uh, teacher, in the, yes. the answer is being made um, because it, the end sentences. No. It's not been made because when you use bin, it's obligation ing. Okay. Okay. It, yes, I have. I've been making drinks at coffee time for the past few months. It's pretty good, Lydia. But I th and and the an your answer is correct, Patricia and Lydia. Your answer is correct. The platform is incorrect because the answer is yes, I have. I have mm -hmm. been been making drinks at coffee time for the past mm -hmm. few months. Is is okay. not is not correct. Only I've been making is obligation. I have been making. I have been making. Yes, I have. I have been making drinks at coffee time for the past few months. Yes, that would be the correct okay. form. Mm -hmm. But this okay. option is not there. So, but by logic, okay. is is has to be been made. Been making. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And the next step. I've been made. <laughs> I've been spending the first I've been spending the second one yeah that the second one we can choose to I think oh, just that's anyone. Correct. that don't show what that's in wrong Only the second one or the one I, I Here's think one. it is best spending. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. What do you think about that? I am spent. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we want to try I everything. <laughs> no, just the last one. Just the last one. That's correct. <laughs> eh, I've been doing. <laughs> I've been spending. That's okay. Have, I have been spending my free time. We, we make old. Everything now, is correct. Okay, the next one. Yeah. We have to read. read the article that answer these questions in short forms. Um, Order musician had described in Sarah changes. How do other musician? Okay. 
um, other musicians have described Sarah Chan as the most wonderful, perfect violinist they have ever heard. What makes this phrase especially surprising is Sarah age. She's only in her 20s and people have been describing her this way since she was a child. On Sarah for birthday, her father gave her a violin. Uh, has, that's the current form to say violin? I think you. Yes, violin. Violin. By age five, she was accepted at the famous Julia School of Music in New York City. By eight, she was performing as a violin solist. Soloist? Correct, soloist. Soloist with major orchestras. Orchestras. Orchest orchestras. Mm -hmm. Since then, Sarah had performed around the world and re recorded many albums. Before Michael Keeney was born, the doctors warned, warned his parents that he might have learning difficulties. He has been proving them wrong ever since by the time he was four months old. You can continue the reading when Michael. We can share Sorry. the reading. For months old, Michael could say food. Uh, a grown, a one grown, a one we sentence. We have a problem with uh, the wish. This is the ground segments, number B. Uh, yes. yes, I have. Uh, I have this dry, okay, but the next. A statement is not good. I think um, make the it last one. No, but no. The, but here is B and plus make, but I the, the make is and not D. in progressive. Mm -hmm. For me, it's good. <laughs> problem. Don't worry. I have it's already. Good to uh, uh, Blanquita. Hi. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. Don't worry. I have already reported the problem to Jonathan for the letter mm -hmm. for the letter B. Okay. Because, okay. Because the correct please answer is it. please. The correct answer but is the no. Answer is it's not there. The answer is not there. Um, it's the correct answer is yes. I have, I have been making drinks at coffee time for the past few months. Mm. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Because it's always an obligation. Yes, of course. Mm. You're right, I teacher. Have uh -huh. yes. I have been making. Mm -hmm. Okay. So don't okay. worry. I I, I have ten. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I already I I already report the problem to to Jonathan to make sure that they they can fix it. Okay, very good, Omi. <laughs> yes, because you identified the mistake. Okay, teacher, we are ready. Finish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... Did, did you? Now it's time to go to the reading. Remember, read and then answer the questions for the reading. Hmm? In the 2.10. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we finished 2.10, okay. Uh -huh, because right, exactly, right now only 2.9, so now go to 2.10. Yes. Okay. That's right, child prodigies. You're going to read it and answer the questions about the child prodigies. Okay. Okay. In this moment, read. Really. Okay, uh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome.
please. Other musicians have described Sarah Jane. Okay. Okay. It says, read the article, then answer the questions. Answer these questions in short form. If you want to read the first paragraph, Sir Parnes. Yes, hello. Hello, hello. Yeah. Um. It's raining very hard. What are, ah, okay. You don't hear me. <laughs> yes, 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 no problem. Okay. Uh, Hi. Picasso. Oh, oh, ah, Picasso. And other artists, famous or great artists. <laughs> Everything is world. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just a, it's a, a, what a, did David say that sometimes it's a, a war, war. It's a signal mark that is bad. I, I don't know, we have to put um, something. In New York City, the A, she was performing, has a violin, so with measure old shirt. Since, uh, since then, Sarah has performed around the work and uh, recorded uh, any albums. Many okay. albums. Okay, I'll read the next one. Uh, before Michael Kearney uh, was born, the doctor warned his parents that they, that they might have learning difficult. He's been proving the work Every, everything. By the time he was four months old, Michael called say full sentences like, what's for, di for dinner mom? By 10 months, he could read words. Studying at home with, the, with his parents, Michael completed for graduate levels each year. At 10, he graduated for college with, on with honor. And in the 14, he received the master in degree, master degree. Now is his later team. He yes, because I didn't have the comment. Where did I go to school? Um, Julie, Julia School of Music in New York. Ah, city, in New York City. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, well, it, it, it's wrong again. Try only Juilliard School of Music. Okay. Juilliard School of Music. Yeah, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thanks. Mm -hmm. In the last week, whose work has Alexander been compared to? Uh, T. R T. T I T S. T I T S. Wrong? Yeah. Maybe artist? Um, yes. A R R T. Oh my God. It's a beautiful woman. My goodness. And uh, it's a beautiful woman, uh, but I don't know the main the, the, the meaning of praise, price, 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 especially. Um, this I don't know what the mean. 
Um, they, this is similar to admire. Admire? Uh, Ad, like admiration. Uh, uh, okay. Get it, sure. Okay. The next article. It's my turn, Blanky. Yes. Before Michael Kearney was born, the doctors warned his parents the, that he might have learning difficulties, have been proving them wrong since signed, ever signed. By the time he was full sentences, like, what for Tyner Mom? By 10 months, he could read words. A study and at home with his partner lover each year. At 10, he graduated from college with honors and um, in, in at 14 receive a master's degree. Ooh, very, very. Levels each year at 10. Hi, teacher. Hey, did you have any questions? Yeah, in the exercise, the last one. 2.10. Yeah, in the, the, in the five question, the question number five, whose work has Alexandra been compared to? All right, With let's take the a answer. Okay, let's look at this together so we can answer for some of the questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Does anybody in the group know the answer to number five? Yes. From, this is from 2.10, that the reading about oh, child yes. prodigies. We have problems with that. I have problems. Yes. I think it's with my Picasso. question. With Picasso. It's compared with Picasso. Picasso in great... Studies. Yeah, here it says compared to those of Picasso. Okay, let's. The partner says the Picasso. Let's try what he says. Picasso. No. No. Oh. No. Mm -hmm. Not. We no. we try with those of Picasso and another as artist, but it's. Wrong every and every answer with right. You tried Picasso and other great artists. Yeah, we try again to talk of Picasso and other great artists, or Picasso and other great artists, and every chance is wrong. Hmm. Maybe. Let me see. Maybe they made the mistake and put double something. No. Sometimes they make a spelling mistake like we do, but I don't think so. Because the only way to write it is, let me try it without the capital. Hmm. Let me double check that for you. Because I would think that it's Picasso's. Uh, okay. It's a stupid answer, but okay, I have it. Just one second. Here, let okay. me share with you. Yes. Okay. I'm going to share with you the correct way to spell it. Okay, it's, it's a spelling mistake for us, okay? Okay. 
the no. curve. Uh, <laughs> That's a capital. Pica sos. That's oh. apostrophe s because you see here apostrophe s. Yeah. So the idea was for us to have the same for them, Picassos. The own ownership. Yes, the ownership because it's to his painting, yes. not, not to him, not to yeah. him. Uh huh. <laughs> Annoying. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. But it's good. Because Thanks, I, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome because, like, just like you, there are other groups that the same situation, the same problem, and maybe 10, 20 minutes with one question. Yes. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? Um, yes. 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 The, uh, the night, uh, the exercise, 2.9. Okay. Let's go to 2.9. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me check. Uh, don't, teacher, please. Sure, no problem. No, yeah. Okay, that one. Uh, the uh, spend has spending. Ah, this one. Okay. Ah, no, 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 no. Don't, teacher. It's like it's like well, number le letter B. Letter B. Letter B. This one. In this one, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Does anybody know? Can anybody answer what is the correct uh, answer? The, we have basically the answer. Just the the question is why the answer is have in the other option being made. Basically, that's the correct answer. But supposedly, if we follow the rule, has to be being making, but. I don't know if it's in the role in the platform or something else, but we put have and then being made, and basically that's the correct answer. I don't know if we are okay or if there is some mistake in the platform. Okay, yes, you. there is a mistake in the platform. And here, all of these, the first answer is correct. That I, yes, I have, is this one, yeah. okay? Yes, I have, mm -hmm. but the second option here is not the answer. Mm -hmm. We do not have the answer possible here. All of these are incorrect, okay? I'm going to put into the chat right here. The correct one is have been making. So, one moment, there. That's the correct. If you see in the chat, the, the correct is this, have, been making, not these answers, okay? Why? The reason that it's not correct is because always when you use been and ing, you have to use an auxiliary like have or has. Mm -hmm. Has is for he, she, and it. Here, we use the word I, so it's I have. Here, they have been making, and in the platform, it says been make. I think only, and both of those are incorrect because it can be correct, I have been making or I made drinks. Okay. But because of here, the, fa the past few months, we know that it only option is this one. This is the only one that's correct. Okay, thank you. Be sure. Yes. I don't know if uh, you show the answer of the exercise let me see, um, 2.10. Okay. We did, which one? This one, number five? Or is that a different number? It did. No, for Hi. me, number three, oh, excuse me. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I have, I, I can write, I can, I couldn't write the number five Picasso. I put it uh, the same, but I don't know why it's wrong again. Did you use this or yes. did? Okay, if 
sometimes in the computer it confuses for the tilde so make sure it's the right one because it looks the same but in the computer it's not the same oh okay mm -hmm. Thank you. The number three teacher. Number three. Let's take a look at number three. Okay. Where did Sarah go to school? Does anybody know the answer? Where did Sarah go to school? Is Ju Julia Julia's school. Julia is school. Julia. Music. Julia, Julia, right here, right? School of you music. see it? It's right there. Julia is full of music. Okay, so of let's, music. let's oh, okay. try. Let's try number three. Let's make sure. Julia is full of music. Okay. Is Julia? I think is. You mess up. Julia. I think. E. In one moment. Next to you. In two. Julia. There, I think that's yeah. the right way. Okay, let's try it. Juilliard School of Music. I. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't that's... hear the number four. Sorry. No, no. We, that's why we are doing them. Where, if you have a question, okay. What did doctors tell Michael's parents? Does anybody yeah. know? Yeah. He might have learning difficult theories. Okay, he might have, have learning, learning difficult. Difficult. Uh -huh. difficulties. Difficulties. Mm -hmm. Okay. I put yes, that, that is correct. Mm -hmm. okay. check, check the spacing. Sometimes you have two spaces between the word. Okay. 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 Number one and number two were okay? Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. perfect. All right, great. And were there any other questions for the 2.9? All of these were okay? You were able to complete? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. Well, then we advanced quite a bit. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions about the perfect? Uh, what have you been doing? I have been working. Is this okay? We can begin unit three. Or do you have a question for any of the unit two? No, you continue with the unit three. Teacher. Okay, excellent. Let's take a look then. All right, there you go. Okay, now in this moment, we won't have time to do unit three, but we can start. We can get the idea of the, the grammar and the function and the purpose. Okay. If we can see here, we're going to use participles as adjectives, okay? So what do we mean by participles as adjectives? Well, first, what are adjectives? Adjectives are words with ing, sorry, with words that describe, like um, pretty or beautiful or things like this. Those are the adjectives. Participles, we have two forms, okay? We have a present participle. Let me see if I can put in the chat, so maybe, okay, here we go. So we have a present participle, for example, working, and we have a past participle, worked, okay? We usually use, for example, okay, a present participle. How do we use the, uh, this as an adjective? Well, we use it because we're describing the person. As an example, I like the girl or I like the woman, uh, dancing uh, dancing by the door or I like the girl uh, drinking coffee or talking to Jaime 
these are some of the things that we have, okay? Now we can also use uh, to describe the actions like the clothes, wearing or doing, okay? Here, let's take a look at what they have to describe for us. So we can get a nice- Nice to have you back with us. So can you tell me which movies are playing? Okay. So the adjectives, for example, here is good book. We describe the book or terrible movie. We can describe the movie. We can have positive and negatives, okay? So in this conversation, we have a couple of things, okay? So we have, for example here, exciting, okay? Boring, okay? We have fascinating. All of these are adjectives. They're, even though they have ing, okay, or ed, interested, okay? Even though they have ing or ed, they are describing the different things. In this case, the movie. Or we have the different ones. Here, I need two people to read. I need one to be Roger and one to be Carol. Who would like to be Roger and who would like to be Carol? I can be Carol. Thank you. We have a Carol. I can be Roger. All right. Wonderful. Please read for the class. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Um, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His book are usually fascinated but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Holly Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Okay. Thank you very much. Are there any words you don't know? No. The pronunciation of horror, horror movies? Correct, horror movies. Horror, horror, okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, what happens here? We are using ing or ed to describe. Now, there's a pretty simple rule. Let me see if they show it. If not, I'll explain it to you. Maybe when she's talking, she explains. Write it on our discussion box. I didn't see that, but I heard it was. No, they don't. But I'll explain it in, in our chat box. Okay. So normally when we have the, in the case of adjectives, not in the case of actions, in the mm -hmm. case of adjectives, when we have ED, okay, we are going to use the ED to describe the people, okay? This is the idea. We describe the people or their emotions. This is what we, are, we can think about, okay? As an example, I am excited. I am uh, happy. I am entertained. I am amazed. This is with ED. When we use the ING for adjectives, the participle with ING, ING is in reference to when we're talking about things, okay? So as an example, the movie is exciting. Interesting. Uh-huh, exactly. The movie is interesting, interesting. The, the film or the, the, the song is amazing. But me, I am amazed. I am entertained so the big difference we're going to see more tomorrow but so that we have the introduction ed for me ed for describing the person the emotions ing is for uh, describing the thing okay so as an example we say the chat 
because I think all of us chat, right? We all chat in our phones. Oh, when mm. we see somebody, when we see somebody laughing, smiling, or angry, oh, we can describe how it is, right? The chat is funny. The chat is exciting. The chat is entertaining. Okay. This is because we are describing them. How does the person feel? Ooh, the person feels, the person is excited. The person is amazed. The person is entertained. So we're going to practice a little bit tomorrow, but as an introduction, the important for the idea to understand clearly is ED for people, ING for the objects or the things. Teacher, it's, it's incorrect say that, uh, are you amazing? Mm, you can say it, but it has a different meaning. Because uh -huh. are you amazing is, do you have this effect on other people? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because okay. remember, it's for, describe the things that affect the others. But for, for your emotion is, ah, are you amazed? Okay. Does any is there is it okay for everyone? Yes. Yes. It's okay. All right. Great. Then let's take a look. Let's let me see if they have any other important information that you maybe you need. But no, not in the video. Okay. In the video, it's pretty much all they have that is the most important. The other is just to watch and to listen and to practice the conversation. We are going to pause there then, and then we're going to continue tomorrow with our unit three, looking at participles. Remember, we have the two participles, present, which is ing for things, and past, which is ed for people. Okay? Okay, teacher, I got a question for the platform. Okay, Eugenia, go ahead. Uh, I can complete the exercise uh, the last week. Uh, I can complete this today or in this week. There is a problem with that? No, there is no problem. Is is better if you advance? Uh, if you advance, but if you have a difficulty or you have problems, you can do a little bit later. The important is not to accumulate many lessons or many activities because then it's difficult at the end. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Anybody else have any questions about the platform or anything else? No. No teacher. No teacher. Okay then. No teacher, thank you. Thank you guys. Have a great night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Nice. Good night to everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone.